Let's review the rules for taking the derivatives of vector functions. Now if we have two vectors, we'll call them p and q, they can be combined in different ways. We could, ha we could add them, we could take the dot product of the two, and we could take the cross product of the two. So I'm just going to write down here the uh, when, what happens when you take the derivative with respect to some variable of the sum, the dot product, and the cross product of these two vectors. So first let's write the sum. So taking the sum, well, we're going to take the derivative of the sum of two vectors, and that's straightforward. We just take the derivative of the first vector and add it to the derivative of the second vector. Next, let's look at the derivative of the dot product of two vectors. So this is similar to the multiplication two scalars and the way you handle the derivative there. So we take the derivative of the first and dot that into the second vector and then add the first dotted into the derivative of the second vector. So just like the product rule. Finally we have this. The taking the derivative of the cross product of two vectors. Now in this case we we just take the just similar to the above we take the derivative of the first vector and take the cross product of that with the second vector and then take the first vector crossed with the derivative of the second vector. So one place you have to be careful when applying this last rule is to keeping the order intact because if you switch this, uh, the, the cross product of two vectors, when taking the cross product of two vectors, the order matters. If you reverse the order, you'll have a negative sign. So it's important to keep this order, uh, P cross Q, you always take the derivative of P first, cross it with Q, plus P cross with the derivative of Q. Of course, in these other cases, the uh, order doesn't matter. But to keep good habits, always use the same order. So let's review this really quickly. We are looking at the, taking the rules. We're looking at the rules for taking derivatives of vector functions. If you have two vectors, p and q, they can be combined in three different ways by adding them, by taking their dot product, and by taking their cross product. Now, if you need to take the derivative of the sum of two vectors, you use this, uh, just take the, the derivative of the first and add it to the derivative of the second. If you need to take the derivative of the dot product of two vectors, you do this. You take the derivative of the first dotted with the second plus the first dotted with the derivative of, of the second. And finally, if you need to take the derivative of a cross product of two vectors, you must maintain the order and do it in this way. You take the derivative of the first vector crossed with the second vector plus the first vector crossed with the derivative of the second vector.